friends. I'm so happy. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys another very easy, quick recipe, and it is a bacon bean chive salad. Ooh. So yes, it is quick and easy as usual and very high protein. So without further ado, let's get cooking. All right, so the ingredients for this recipe are turkey bacon. Well, the real recipe says bacon, but I'm using turkey bacon. Woo. White kidney beans. Now, in the recipe, they called these cannellini beans, and at first I was like, what is that? And then I figured it out, it's, it's white kidney beans. Um, so that's gonna be exciting, a new thing to try. You can also use they call them Great Northern Beans. I have no idea what that is. You could also use, wait, let me check. Oh, and then they also said, or navy beans or garbanzo beans, AKA chickpeas. So just use any kind of like colored bean and you're good to go. Here we have our fresh chives, which I am excited to eat because I used to have a pool when I was growing up and we had a garden with a chive plant beside the pool. So I'd always be like swimming and then I'd be like, hmm, chives. <laughs> and I'd be like, hmm. So yeah, mm, he's like swimming in the summer. Um, now for the dressing, we use olive oil, apple cider vinegar, salt, pepper, and I'm using old fashioned Dijon mustard. You can use, it actually said in the recipe to use, it's called like whole grain mustard or something like that, but I had this and this is close enough. So always remember you can like swap out little things if you don't want to be like buying a million new things every time you try a recipe. So yeah. This is all we need. And now my first step is going to be cooking the bacon and I'm gonna be using four slices. Okay, so my bacon is cooking and now I've put my beans. I used like about half a cup in this bowl. So now we're just kind of making our dressing. It's honestly such an easy recipe. This is like pretty much the only other step. So um, where are we starting? So we're gonna do a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I never have apple cider vinegar, but I always just feel like this is so healthy. Like I am having apple cider vinegar. I am the picture of health. Okay, okay. And next we are gonna use our olive oil and I'm going to use a teaspoon. Then for the mustard, I'll probably just kind of like drizzle it on. All these recipes are always for a lot of people and I'm one person, like it's just for six people and it's just, I don't know, like I, so I, I just, just do a, I just do it in a, a nice amount, especially when it's like a zero calorie thing. I like, well, it's not zero calories, it's five. So yeah. Okay, so I'm drizzling this on. And then we put our salt and pepper. Oh no. And then I'm going to mix it all up. And then all we have to do, ooh, the bacon might be overcooked. All we have to do is add the bacon and the chives at the end. Let's not put too much black pepper. My mouth is gonna be burning. Okay. So I want to say hello. Say hi, Beans. Oh. It's he's Baxter Bean, and there's beans in here. Side note, Roxy. Side note, does anybody think I look like a fancy like suburban mom? Like this is like my wine glass and I've got like my kid and I'm like, oh darling, the company's coming. You better put Billy into bed. Like, I don't know, I just, I with like the earrings and like the hair, I don't know. I just feel like a fancy mom. I need a glass of wine here. Glass of wine, AKA salt. What do you think Baxter? He's my son. And here's my other little child. Oh, stop squirming. I did not raise you children to be a squirmy mess like this. This is this is your your shot, your shot to fame. Just kidding. Okay, so back to the recipe. So we've put all our dressing on here and I cut up my bacon in little pieces and now I'm pouring it in. And then we're gonna mix it up. Uh, before I mix it up, okay, so I've put the bacon in and I'm just gonna throw a bunch of chives in. So it says like, I'm assuming you just like rip them up. Seems like the right thing to do. Hmm, <laughs> this looks so cute. This is like, this is nice, it's nice. I actually probably could have used more beans to be honest, but 
it's okay. All right, so I've mixed it all together. So that's everything. So very quick and very easy. It does say on the recipe to let it sit for like at least eight hours. I'm not doing that. I'm making it now and eating it now. But keep in mind that it'll probably taste a little bit better if you do that. So I'll do that another day, but today is not the day for that. Oh honey, this is the perfect meal to serve at the dinner party tonight. But actually, I really like it, it's good. It just reminds me of that though, like you go to like, like this would be just like a nice little side salad with like a fancy dinner. I don't know, maybe my standards are just low, <laughs> but um, it's really good. There's definitely quite a bit of protein in this as well. I don't know how much yet, I'll, I'll calculate it after and I'll put it on the screen. And yeah, soon I'm gonna start typing up these recipes that I've been doing and putting them on my website. So if you like them, go check that out. And I'll make it so you can print it out. So you can take it on with you to the grocery store and then you're ready to go. That concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and that's it.